a convenient way to obtain the character creator and iClone plugin and tools for the Unity game engine is to use GitHub Desktop. This is freely available from github.com slash apps slash desktop. You'll need to create a GitHub account and log into the desktop application. This allows you to easily download the tools with a single click and keep them updated as new changes are committed by using the Fetch Origin button when changes are available. To obtain the Unity package, go to github.com slash soupday slash CCIC Unity Tools and click on the code button. This will show a drop-down window where you can choose the open with GitHub desktop option. This will open a window on the desktop app where you can choose a location. Click clone to continue. This will make a clone of the repository in your chosen location. As an alternative, you can also copy the web URL, which can be pasted into the desktop app from the menu option, File, Clone Repository, in the URL tab. If you don't want to clone the repository, then formal releases can be obtained by clicking on the releases link, where the latest version can be found and downloaded. At the bottom of each release is an assets foldout that can be opened to reveal the available files. You should download the zip file and unpack it to a suitable permanent location. To get the plugin for Character Creator or iClone, go to github.com slash soupday slash CCIC Unity Pipeline plugin. Here you can click on the code button and either choose to open in GitHub Desktop or copy the Git URL. Alternatively, you can download the latest release from the release page. To install the plugin, right-click on the current repository box and select Show in Explorer. This will open the location of the plugin files. If you aren't using GitHub Desktop, then navigate to the plugin directory you unpacked or cloned to. Now simply double-click on the install.bat file. This will perform a user account control check and you should give permission for PowerShell to make changes. The PowerShell window will report back on the actions it took. Now open iClone or Character Creator and find the U icon on the toolbar. Left-click on this to bring up the control window for the plugin. This window can be docked with any of the other windows. By default, the plugin is automatically listening for a connection from Unity. Now open your Unity project and go to the window menu and choose Package Management, then Package Manager. This will open the Package Manager window, which we will use to install the Unity tools. Left-click on the plus button and select the option to install package from disk. Now navigate to the location you cloned or unpack the tools to and select the package.json file and click Open. Wait whilst the installation completes. Once completed, Open the tool using the Reillusion menu and select Import Characters. This will then perform an automatic installation of essential runtime and shader files specific to your choice of render pipeline into your Unity project. These files allow the distribution of assets without the need to have the tool installed. The shader and runtime files are also licensed permissively with the MIT No Attribution License. You can check the installed file status from the Reillusion menu option. Check for updates. This opens a utility tool window which summarizes information about the installed files and system settings. Should you have characters built with older versions of the tool, then you can install legacy shaders as an optional extra that should allow those characters to be used without having to rebuild them. For reference, all of the installed files are placed in a folder called Reillusion slash CCIC Unity Tools contained in the main assets folder of the project. We can now connect the Unity tool to the iClone plugin. First, we switch to the connection tab of the tool window. In this case, iClone is running on the same machine as Unity, so local server is selected. 
For a remote connection, the remote host field accepts either an IPv4 address or valid DNS name. To connect, simply click the yellow button. Switching back to iClone, we can see that the connection indicator shows that we are connected locally. We can now load an iClone project and send it in its entirety to Unity. The Unity tool is set by default to import into the current scene and add animated objects to a timeline game object in the scene. Turning this off will mean that items are only imported into the project's assets. For this demonstration, it will be left on and a full scene will be built. In both cases, imported items will be automatically built with high quality settings. Since a full scene is being built, it is very important to use a completely empty scene. This allows the tool to create a new volume profile, which is close to the iClone viewport settings. If the scene already contains a volume game object, then that will be used, and overrides for animated properties such as depth of field will be added to it. The simplest way to send a scene to Unity is to use the Sync Scene button. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl and A and click Send All. However you do it, the plugin will extract and send all of the scene items to Unity. Each of the sent items will be automatically processed and stored in the project assets. In the case of animated lights and cameras, custom animations will be built on the Unity side for these objects so that they can be used in the timeline. Unity will assemble the scene as the objects are received and processed. With the transfer fully completed, you can scrub through the timeline or press play to see how the animation looks. In conclusion, the new Unity tools and plugin offer a greatly simplified means of transferring characters from iClone and Character Creator and also allow the full replication of complex iClone scenes. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please visit the Pipeline section of the Reillusion forums at reillusion.com.